Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mom. You are back with another episode of Rate the Custom Stages. Thank you so much for all your wonderful comments and views on the last episode. Today we have about 11 to 13 more I'm going to show off. But before you do, let's shout out some people who watched and commented on last episode. We have a comment here by Meme Generator says, My favorite that you showed was too fast for 5 speed in Minecraft. I think the September stage might get taken down if there is a stage reporting system, which there probably is. So thank you, Meme Generator. Uh, let's see. We have one by Helios Universe that says, Jet Fuel can't melt steel memes. I actually chuckled a little when I saw that. Terrible dark humor. <laughs> Alright, we got another one from Justin. He says, also, you can pause and use the camera to zoom out. I did not do that on the first one, so I'll try to do that today. Thank you. Uh, we got another comment by Doggo, who asked, how do you upload stages? Well, you do it from the online menu in the game. You don't go to Stage Builder, you go to the online, and you can do it from there, I think. And then uh, one more that I want to highlight today is from Chris Pins. I'm just wondering how they are going to handle stages with offensive material because once you start throwing bands around, you get into some pretty gray areas. I didn't mean to draw a penis. I swear, it's supposed to be a mushroom. That's true, man. Maybe they won't even bother doing that. Or they might have actual people manually go through it. Either way, thanks so much for the comments. Comment on this one, anything you want, and if I like it, I'll put it in the next video. With that being said, let's move on with our first stage of the day. This first one is called Switchception. I like the name. I can't wait. All right, let's see what this thing is. Ooh, looking good. All right. So what's uh what's the Switchception about? Okay, let's see here. Now I am going to zoom out, but I want to like see if I can figure out what the heck's happening so far. All right, let's take a peek at the We're in a giant switch. <laughs> oh my god, this is cool. This is nice. Look at this Joy-Con right here. Nice. You got the plus button kind of. It's just one little thing. Oh, this is cool. This is a sixth stage. Okay, so let me zoom out now. How do you zoom out? Dang! Okay, this is sweet. Let's give this a rating, guys. So what I want to do for all the uh, episodes is I'm going to, you know, play it for a little bit, and then we're going to pause it like this, and then we're going to rate it. I want you to play along with me, rate it, and put it in the comments. Like, go along with me for every single one. So this first one, this is so cool. It's an arena, and it's also very creative. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Next. This next one is called Bikini Bottom. Okay, let's see what we got here. Bikini Bottom. I chose Villager because I think it might be the most appropriate. Alright, here we go. I think I'm on Squidward's house. Oh my god! Listen to the music. It's like very like aquatic. This is cool! We got Patrick's Little Rock. We got Squidward's houses. And we got the pineapple. The big, big pineapple. This looks good. I don't think there's much to it besides this, though, right? Yeah, it's just this. All right, so I'm going to rate it off of creativity and how it fares as an actual, like, as an actual thing to fight on. So it could be an arena, but it wasn't really meant for that, right? So, yeah, this one, uh, it's cool for creativity. I like it a lot, and we haven't seen anything like this yet. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. I think it's cool, man. 7 out of 10. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I, I, it's cool. Alright. This next one is called Zelda 2 Castle. Now, I chose this Link because this is the age that the Link is supposed to be in Zelda 2. You know, in the first game, he was like a tiny kid, right? Now he's supposed to be a little bit older because it's the first game with the direct sequel. Now, look at it! This is Zelda 2. I've played Zelda 2. It's a very hard game. But this is absolutely awesome. They even got like the um, awesome Zelda 2 music. It's pretty sick. Uh, let me go ahead and just beat down Cinnaroar for just a tad bit. Oh, crap! Damn you! Come here, Cinnaroar! Crap, crap, crap! Alright, let's take a peek at this thing. Nice! Look, you have the foreground pillars. I think this is the first stage that we've covered with foreground items. So this is a very, very good recreation. I like it a lot. So this is this is an arena you can fight here most definitely and it's creative So I like it a lot. I think I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 as well What do you guys think? Have you guys played Zelda 2? This is cool. I like, I like it quite a bit. This is, this is awesome. Probably gonna favor this one All right upcoming we have a stage called smash desk fix So I think this is like the second iteration because they call it fix So this is the smash desk 
Now, you might be confused if you haven't played the series since the beginning. Like, what the heck is the Smash Disc? And I don't think they showed it on any other games than the first one for the N64. So pretty much during the old days of Smash, when they had an opening scene, it would just be pretty much this. It would have the Master Glove coming over here and grabbing a plush of like, I think Mario and Kirby or something. And then they come to life and start fighting. Now this is a very, 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 very awesome and good looking like stage. Like you're not supposed to see the background stuff. If you just see this, it could look like a real stage. It is most definitely an arena, and it's creative as all hell. This is probably my favorite one, because it looks like this one had most of the time put into it. Like, recreating this stuff, because you only have so many tools. So this is a really, really good stage. You got, a, you got like, really good four uh, background stuff blending in to make it look real. So this one is a 9 out of 10. The highest rating we've given on the series thus far. We only had two episodes, but, yo... I can only imagine how crazier it's going to get. So this is one day, one full day after the um, stage builder um, tool has been released to everyone. And we start, we're starting to see a little bit more crazy better ones. The last one was, it was fun memes, but this is cool. This looks like it could be a real stage, you know, if you mess around a little bit more with it. But this is great. Stage is called Pachinko Madness. Yeah, I can kind of already tell what it might be. We're going to be in a giant pachinko machine to watch. Look at that on the right over there. Can I hit that? Hold on. Can you hit that? Oh my god, this is... Now that is creative... The creativity right here. But do those things hit you? Oh my god, dude. I didn't even... You can make stuff like this? Well, that guy... Ridley, sorry there. Wait. Oh yeah, so you can break the sides. But you can break the sides and they come back? Dude, there is so much potential. Oh my god, if you get off the side, it blows you off. Look. Oh my god. Before I die, let's take another peek at it. Dude! Okay. Dude, the people keep stepping their game up. This is awesome, dude. Alright, I'm gonna rate this one also a 9 out of 10. We got tons of moving stuff. This is an actual arena that if you fall off any of the sides, you stay out of this thing, you're dead. This is sick. You can put a filters on this thing. Oh my god, I never actually used the... Uh, the thing. Oh, it's gross filters. All right, it's cool. Eight out of ten, easy. Wow. Stage is called switching it up. I don't know. I have no clue what to expect here. Hey, Luigi, how's it going? I do like Joker, by the way. Play playing with them a little bit. All right, see what the stage is all about. Oh, oh! Every stage we're seeing today, we're seeing new stuff. Wow, you can have switches. That's what it means. Switching it up. I guess he's like testing out. So look at this. It goes up and down. Oh my god, that's awesome. Is there any more? Is there any more to the stage? Oh, there's more stuff here. Hold on. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I really want to make a stage out. You can get so clever with this. Actually, you can do like little mini games. Like you could have a stage where you try to survive as long as you can. Kind of like a Mario Maker type of deal. This is so cool. I thought the stage looked bland at first, but then you could show, you can do all these like little mechanical, like um, log, uh, like logistics here. I mean, very basic, but still, that's cool. All right, let's rate this one. I'm gonna give this one an awesome eight out of 10. I'm pretty sure our ratings will get a lot lower once we get used to this, some of the stuff and we see so many crazy things, but this is cool so far. So it's pretty freaking cool. Come here, Luigi. You're a jerk, come here, Luigi. Oh, no. okay, so yeah, eight out of 10. Okay, we got one called Persona R. So I, I picked Joker again, of course. Okay, I, I played a little bit of Persona, but I have not beaten it yet. I bought like the, uh, the, the, I bought it for PS4 and haven't played it yet. So what the heck are we even doing here? What are we looking at? Well, I'm gonna have to zoom out to definitely see. Okay, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm gonna have to zoom out. What are we looking at? Okay, what the hell? What is this? What's that? What is that? Okay, these look like spikes or a wave. And there's like red things on the side. Okay. I'm so confused on why this one is called Persona R. I'm sure you guys, if you've played the games, you might get the reference. This looks like someone's hair. It could be someone's hair. It could be a stage in the game. I'm, I'm really confused. But, hey, if you know what this is referencing to from the game, please let me know. Because... I, I really need to know. 
Anyway, I don't know what to give this one. A six. It's cool. It has moving. It has like moving back and forth platforms. So that that's it for me. A six. What the heck is this? Okay, this one might be our first meme one. Well, and the SpongeBob might have been a meme one. Anyway, this one's called Bad Sands. Another Undertale thing, I guess. Get out of here, Palatina. All right, what do we got here? Oh. Did he say bad sands because it it's a bad drawing of sands? Well, I'll tell you what. I right, get out of here. Get the hell out of here. This um uh, this thing is out of uh it's not in the middle of the sea. It's not in the middle of the thing. All right. Well, we've got our one meme one for the day, I suppose. All right. I want to rate this one off of memeage. Better than the last Sans one we saw last episode. So this one gets a five. This one definitely gets a five. I don't know why they chose um, freaking this music. I guess it sounds kind of like funny for him. Okay, well, yeah, that's the sands. This one's called Turbulent Tower. It doesn't sound meme. It sounds like an actual stage with a gimmick. So let's see what we got, man. Let's see what we got. Turbulent Tower. Okay. Nothing, nothing crazy yet. What do we got here? What do we got? A platform, and that's it. A platform with wind. Oh, okay. It's kind of it's, it's supposed to be mimicking like you're fighting on a giant skyscraper with heavy, heavy winds falling. So I guess if you fall, you're supposed to fall down. Well, let's go ahead and knock Cloud off, and then we'll see if the AI can get back up. Unless he knocks me off. Whatever. What music is this? I don't even know. I'm getting wrecked here by the uh, the PC. Hold on. Hold on. I want to knock this fool out of here. Hold on. I got this, boys. I got this. Proof. Go ahead, jump. Oh, oh, you're so smart, AI. Hmm. All right, I'm going to fall off then. Here, get ready. Let's see if I can recover. You fall, you're dead. You fall, you're dead. Okay. It's an arena. It's not meant to be Mimi. It's just an arena. Uh, six out of ten. <laughs> six out of ten. All right, the last one today we're going to check out is called Failed Poke Float. Now, I know the name already. You guys played Melee? Poke Floats is one of the craziest moving stages ever. So let's see what this one can do. Whoa! Check it out. It's supposed to be Slowpoke? And that's Onyx up there? Oh, that's cool. Alright, guys. If you have no idea what this is supposed to be mimicking, please go look up Melee 64 Poke Floats. The whole stage, it's crazy. This is pretty cool. I used to like poker floats. It's insane. So this one is supposed to be like a little bit of a spiritual, spiritual tribute to it with Pokemon flying around and you have to, of course, survive stepping on top of them. This is pretty freaking cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It's cool. It's cool. All right, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> the drawings aren't that crazy. You know, these guys don't even have facial expressions, but you got the movement. You got the right idea. Hopefully this one could be much more, um, I don't know, fixed up a little bit for the future. But this is a good start if they decide to do a lot more. So 7 out of 10 for me on this one. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe for daily videos. I hope you guys decide to rate it with me. I'm going to give you my two favorites with, uh, with actual fighting and what would I love the most just for a creative standpoint. So... For fighting, I would love the Smash Desk. Out of all these, this is probably the, my most favorite I would like to fight on. But for, per, for for just straight out creativity, yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to give it up for this again. Like, this is really good. It's just like, it's very nostalgic seeing that table. So, I'm gonna have to give both to Smash 64 Desk today. So, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Remember, comment anything you want. Actually, give me your ratings. Um, I'm more than happy to shout you guys out in future episodes through your comments, just like at the beginning. So yeah, thanks for being here. Join the Discord and my Twitch. Everything is there's a link down below to all that stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.